Hey Capricorn, welcome to your weekly messages for uh, June 29th through July 5th. We're going to see what's happening the week with this uh, deck here. And then we're going to pull a crystal card for you all from this deck here. Now Capricorns, we do have a full moon in your sign. There is a full moon in Capricorn happening July 4th and 5th. So we're going to see what's coming up the week ahead, how the energies may be affecting you, what you all may be feeling. Go ahead and check in here and see what's going on for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising in the week ahead. Alrighty, one, two. Alright, let's jump right on in here. So your first card here, we have the Fool. And so the Fool is the card that comes in when there's the dynamic or a sense of like this leap of faith. Now, keep in mind it's a major arcana card. So when the major arcana cards are coming up here, uh, coming into a new chapter of your life. You're coming into a new phase in the stage. So it's energy that's going to be around for a while. And the full card is generally things that can come up when somebody is really preparing to change direction in their life. Uh, maybe go in a direction or do something that maybe other people don't quite understand, but you're feeling a very strong uh, pull to do it, right? So uh, sometimes moves, moving or a career change uh, or going after a dream or a goal can be associated with the Fool card, you know, just taking a leap of faith in a, in a new direction. Now, the message with the Fool card, however, is also you got to look before you leap, right? You, you, Yes, it's good to be positive and yes, it's, lived, it's good to live your life in a way where you have faith, but you also want to look where you're jumping before you jump. You don't want to go into it completely unprepared. Sometimes with the fool, like we're just, we're, we're too, we're, we're, we're too eager, right? And so Spirit is saying, yes, you're being guided, but do some planning here, do some preparation so that you can ensure your success. I also feel, uh, Capricorn, there's something about the, the horn here that's jumping out at me. And so I feel like this is somebody who is like announcing that they're about to take this leap or this is someone who's announcing what they're about to do. And for some of you, this can feel very empowering. Like you're speaking your truth. You're in your moment. You're not holding back anymore. This might be a way in which you feel like you're owning the energy. However, because we're dealing with the full card here, remember there are people that maybe like they're not going to understand what you're doing. And so if you are being super vocal, um, be prepared that there's going to be people who are maybe going to be criticizing these decisions or these choices or this way of thinking that you have. If you don't care, more power to you. But if you feel it's going to hinder you in your progress or if you feel like it's going to get to you or bring you down, then maybe only be vocal or come out or express these things when you're around uh, people that you know aren't going to be uh, too negative or, or too discouraging. Uh, but again, Capricorn, I just feel some of you are in this energy where like you just don't care. You're just like, this is what it is. This is what I think. This is who I am. This is what I'm doing. You know, <laughs> get out my way. I kind of feel like that's uh, the energy that a lot of you are putting out there. The next card here is the Three of Earth. And so the Three of Earth is good because the Three of Earth can indicate collaborations or working with other people. But in overall, when I see Three of Earth, it's telling me some foundation is coming together. Something is forming. Something is being built. So where you're putting your attention, where you're putting your focus, this leap that you're taking, you're taking it in a way where you're building and creating, right? Maybe you found the right partnerships or, uh, you know, um, people to work with, collaborate with. Maybe you found the right resources. If you are someone that you're looking for work, I feel like this card is saying that there's going to be an offer coming in for you, but it may seem kind of temporary. It may seem like not too solid of an offer, but because it's three of earth, it, it feels like it's going to build. It's going to progress. Like it's going to go well, you know? So in other words, you might be handed something where they're like, well, we're just going to play it by ear. We're going to see how long the project goes or we're going to see if things pan out. 
So it might not be presented to you like it's a done deal and this is long term, but I have a feeling here with this energy that this is something that will become long term. If you're already in a job, I see three of earth come up a lot of the times for people when they're starting to get a lot of attention from the higher ups uh, or, you know, like the, their bosses or their managers. And it's kind of weird because even though they're getting more attention or they can feel it or they can sense that, you know, like they're looking at you and talking about you and stuff. Like nobody really approaches you. Nobody tells you what's going on. So you're like, what in the heck, right? They might tell you, oh, hey, you know, can you go help out so-and-so? We want you to go sit with this coworker for a bit and we want you to watch what they do and take notes, right? Or we want you to like go and work in this department, you know, for a few days next week or whatever. But nobody tells you what's going on. So like, you're like, what's going on? Do they not like me? Are they not happy with me? What is this? And what it is, is they have uh, plans to move you up. They have plans to work with you. Like they see your potential, but they're still trying to figure out what's going to be the best fit for you, what you enjoy doing. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're trying to figure out what's going to be the best possible, uh, you know, outcome for, for everybody involved. So sometimes three of earth for me in a work situation is, you know, like this, taking their time, they're taking their time doing it, but they are teaching you, they are mentoring you, they are preparing you for something uh, higher up. The next card here is, ooh, Capricorn, it's a good week to be a Capricorn, 10 of Earth. So, so far, your cards seem to be really focusing around money, not surprising, because uh, this full moon in Capricorn is bringing in abundance. It is bringing in luck and success. And a lot of people are going to be geared towards this area in their life. Uh, there is another element of the full moon in Capricorn with the lunar eclipse. Being that there's also going to be an energy here of... Um, it's going to be very clear to you what in your life is not harmonious right now. Like what's not balanced... Uh, what needs more attention, what's taking up too much attention. So I feel some of you are having this awakening with your finances where you're catching unnecessary expenses or you're catching ways of like cutting your personal costs and it's going to make the world of difference to you. You're going to be like, oh my God, I've got like all this money now. So maybe some of you are furloughed or maybe there's been like a change in your work situation or or you're working, but it's just, it never seems to be quite enough. I feel just by this awakening and just by catching these things financially, you're going to feel as if you have this massive pay increase. You're going to feel like you have a lot more wiggle room. And the Ten of Earth is a card about manifesting, you know, like the things that we're thinking about, the things that we're dreaming about, they're taking shape, they're coming into the physical realm, they're becoming a reality, okay? Uh, it's wealth, it's security, it's stability, it's, you know, having a nice, strong foundation, it's enjoying the luxuries of life. So this is like kind of the theme with this Fool card, you know, this is what you're envisioning. This is what you see yourself creating for yourself in your life. And this is the, the direction that you're beginning to move in. Your next card here is the Seven of Water. And this is actually very positive uh, to see this card. Seven of Water is going to be the Seven of Cups in traditional tarot. And a lot of the times when we see the Seven of Cups, we associate it with like confusion, right? Like, oh gosh, like confused and so many options, don't know what to do. But I am very happy to see this card, especially for you Capricorns. And we've talked about on the channel before, you know, Capricorns, you guys went through a really rough decade, a really rough 10 to 12 years. Uh, and my heart goes out to you. I'm not a Capricorn, but you know, I'm a Scorpio and we Scorpios went through something very similar up until a couple of years ago. So you went through this really rough patch, Capricorns. Like it, it, it's, it's been hell. Like some of you maybe even feel like it's been a dark night of the soul kind of period. Or some of you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm like, you know, clearing out karma from past lives. And 
you've been feeling like everything has been stacked against you, right? So when we're in the energy where it just seems like constant tower moments, or it just seems like no matter what we do to, to get our footing or, or get grounded, it doesn't seem to work. It's very hard to have hope in anything. It's very hard to even believe that you can manifest or that things are going to change because everything feels so out of your control and you don't feel as though you have options. You're just waiting for the next wave. You're like, you're just waiting for, for things to calm down or you're waiting for things to settle. So when we see seven of cups, this is basically saying now you're at a point where you see that there are options. There's, there's options available to you now. And any kind of limited thinking you had before is cleared so that you're able to see, wow, there's a lot of ways that I could solve this situation. There's a lot of ways that I could move forward. And so it's very good. It, it, it's a form of clearing. It's a form of like ascending your energy or leveling up. The only thing is we do get confused. We're like, I'm scared. I don't want to choose the wrong thing. So a good rule of thumb, you know, when you're in this kind of situation is to just make a list of the options, the things that you're considering to bring about this change or uh, to improve your financial situation or, or the dreams or the things you're thinking of going after. Write them out in a list and then one by one, take your time. It doesn't have to be done in one sitting or one day or one night. It can take as long as it needs to. Try to envision yourself having made each of those choices one at a time. And just kind of imagine yourself living that life. How do you feel? How do you see life going for you? After you do that little, you know, daydream exercise, pay attention, you know, like which ones made you the happiest? Then you can have a shorter list. You can narrow it down. Yeah, you know, that felt good to me or that felt right to me. Or, man, I was really excited. I would really love to see, you know, that really happen in real life. You know, write down the shorter list and then go ahead and start researching what do you have to do to make it happen do you have to travel do you have to go somewhere to do it do you have to take classes or get special training or go back to school is it going to cost you money how much how might you come across the money that you might need for it once you've done this you're going to automatically have everything clear you're going to know which of these goals or ideas are things that are short term that you have what you need to get started now. And then you're going to know which ones are going to be longer term, like long term or more distant future goals. But this is going to really help with getting the energy flowing so that things don't feel stuck anymore. Let's go ahead and check out your crystal for the week. And as always, my dears, I encourage you guys to watch your moon sign and rising sign videos. See which... Um, you know, what kind of jumps out at you, what resonates with you, or brings you more information. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do for you. If you want to click on the Calendly link, you can schedule a private reading with me there. All right, let's see what your crystal is. Come on, crystals. Um, here we are. Ooh, Malachite. Malachite's your crystal. So the message on the back says, create healthy patterns in relationships. Connect with the sweetness of life. Maintain heart-centered awareness. Get to the heart of the matter. So we had so much about money coming in in your reading. So the one area in which you can make sure that the success is coming in is to work on the heart chakra. Those of you that watch my videos, you've heard me talk about that. I've always said that. Anytime we're trying to manifest money or abundance, what do they tell us? They say, oh, your root chakra is blocked. Work on your root chakra. Unblock the root chakra. And they're right. They're not wrong. But your root chakra can be wide open. If your heart chakra is blocked, forget it. Nothing's coming in. Because the heart is the center of receiving. Okay, so maybe some of you have made massive progress on your root chakra to date. Good job. But now is the time to make sure you're keeping the heart open. And it says here, a uh, light, nice little affirmation. I recognize repetitive patterns and choose love, compassion, and kindness. So you guys are like not even getting involved in any kind of drama or whatever. Like you're just doing what makes you happy. You're making decisions based from love, not from fear. 
uh, and opening up to receive, to receive and to have these changes. Alrighty, my darlings, again, watch your moon, sun, and rising sign. I know some of you watch these videos because you want to know more about your love life. In the weekly videos, I try to focus on everything except for love because there's so many love readings out there um, and not enough, you know, career and personal life and, and all the other stuff. But I do love readings once a month. So you can check out the love readings in the description of the video as well as the channel the angel messages for june the ones for july will be up soon i'm a little behind but they'll be up soon if you hit subscribe and the notification bell you'll, you gotta notice when those are up also real quick guys i want to congratulate the winners for june uh angelica in the united states won a free 30 minute reading with me and jackie in england won the beautiful angel light bracelet that i'm giving away um, so I'm going to figure out what the giveaway is going to be for July. I know one person I'm going to give away a free 30 minute reading in July to one person, but I don't know what the prize is yet. I haven't decided when I figure that out, I will announce it July 1st on Instagram and Facebook. And again, I will pick one winner from Instagram and one winner from Facebook from the comments, the likes and the comments towards the end of the month. I will pick one winner for the 30 minute reading and one winner for the prize. One winner from Facebook, one winner from Instagram. So I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Wishing you all a wonderful week. Take care.